Hey everybody, welcome to Chin Fat. In this episode, I am continuing this uh, short series of episodes going over the toolbar on Premiere Pro. And on this one specifically, I'm going over the razor tool in the toolbar. And the shortcut for that, of course, is the letter C. If you're already on your arrow tool and you hit the letter C, it will select the razor tool. This is one I find myself using quite frequently when I just want to do a quick cut on something or a quick cut on just a single clip or on several clips. So right now I do have the razor tool selected and I can just move this down on my timeline pretty much anywhere that I want to cut. Uh, one recommendation I, I, I give to people is if you are wanting to cut on an exact frame, because right here is just kind of on a random frame. If I cut right there, it slices that into two clips. And now I have uh, one clip I can select. I could hit the letter V, select this clip, and then I could hit delete or I can undo that and I can select this and do shift small, it's the shift small delete on the keyboard that will do a ripple delete and pull the gap away and pull the, uh, the gap space out of there. But I recommend using your snap tool here and getting your playhead on the exact sa exact frame where you want to cut. So like right here, I've got my snap tool selected. So if I choose my razor tool and I get this close to the playhead here, as I get closer, you'll notice it suddenly magnetizes and snaps to the timeline. So when I cut, it will cut on that exact frame. So let's say you want to cut on an exact frame here. Let's say you want to cut right there. So I just stopped it right there and I want to cut on that exact frame. So if, you, if your snap tool is not turned on and you move this uh, blade closer to this right here, you're just going to be kind of eyeballing it, like cutting right there. And then as I zoom up, I'm going to hit plus, plus, plus. I did not cut on that exact frame. It was a few frames off there. So what the snap tool does is ensures that you are cutting on that exact frame. I'm going to turn that back on. And actually the shortcut for the snap tool is the letter S. So if I just hit S, watch this, S, it turns that on. And now I can move my mouse down and get really, really close to this thing and just go boom, it magnetizes to it. You can see how it's like highlighted the, the playhead here and I just click and it cuts. And then if I want to, I can select this clip and I can do a ripple delete by hitting shift in the small delete key and it ripple deletes, which fills the gap there for me. Otherwise you can just select it, delete, and there's a gap there. So another couple shortcuts here. Let's, let's say you want to cut just the video and not the audio. Right now, if I select the video, notice that it selects the audio as well because these two files are linked together. This was recorded uh, footage that it was has the, the movie file and the audio in camera uh, that are linked together as one file here. But let's say I just want to cut just the video on a certain portion. What you can do is you can just, uh, you can select your razor tool, hit C, you move down to your playhead here and you can hold down option. Notice it gets rid of that little uh, purplish magenta line on the audio here. When I hold down option and hover over the video, it just has a purple line over the video and vice versa. If I, if I bring it down here on the audio and all that option, which would be alt on a PC, uh, it just has that line over the audio and that's it. So let's snap that over to this clip right there. And I'm going still holding down option or alt. You click and it cuts just right there and it does not cut the audio as well. But if you want to do that separately, you can hold that option, go down here and click. And now it cuts the audio uh, right there and the video right there. So I can hit my V tool, select this and just delete that portion right there if I'm doing something like a J cut or an L cut. So one other option is you might be doing some compositing or you might have some A roll and B roll where you've got footage on the bottom down, down on your uh, video track one and then you got some video on your video track two if you're doing like some sort of effect where you're doing like a composite with like, let me turn down uh, the opacity here. So now we have this ghosting and turn down the opacity where this is now transparent. The clip on top is transparent and it's seeing through to the clip on the bottom and you get kind of this ghosting effect. So say if you're doing something like that, uh, and you want to cut both of your clips here. So I'm going to zoom up. I'm going to hit plus plus and zoom up a little bit. And now I want to, I'm going to hit the C tool for my razor tool. But notice when I move this over here, it's just wanting to cut this video right here. I don't have any audio that belongs to these clips here. But, or I can bring it down here and cut this video on, on the bottom. If you want to cut both of them right through, all you have to do is if I hit shift with my razor blade here, you'll notice that it now has two little razor blades, one shadowed behind the other. And you got this long line that goes through all the clips. This cuts all the clips here. This cut everything on your timeline. So if I move over to my playhead right there, I click cut, and now you've got a slice that goes through all of these clips instead of just one of them individually. And sometimes you don't even need to use your razor tool to do that. If you're just on your regular selection tool, you undo that, and you want to cut a clip, you can just simply hit command K, or which would be control K on a PC, and it will cut the clip that you've got it over right there. And now it's got a slice right there, and these two clips have been separated there. If you want to cut through multiple clips, put your playhead on the exact frame where you want to cut and you hit command K, it'll cut through everything that has track targeting turned on on the entire uh, timeline right now. Right now, I've just got video track one. If you go up and hit video track two and you hit command K, it'll cut through everything where the track targeting has been selected. 
by default, this uh, the, the track targeting is on is just on for video track one, but then you have to manually activate the other tracks if you wanted to do that. And now the last thing is, is if you want to cut, just if you have all the tracks targeted and you don't want to have to go turn them off, you can select the track that you want to cut specifically, and then you can hit Command K and it will ignore the others and just cut the track that you have selected. So if I go over to this one here, select this clip, hit Command K or Control K on a PC and it cuts it right there. So that's pretty much it with the Razor tool. In the next episode, I will be going over the Pen tool.